I am recording this intro after I filmed the entire video so I can tell you what to expect. So this is gonna be like half crochet, half vlog kind of deal. This is just me restocking my rainbow fidget keychains to have kind of like a backstock. And by rainbow fidget keychains, I mean these little doodads. They have a little marble in them for all of your fidgeting needs. These are my biggest seller so far. I have a few wholesale locations and I have a craft show coming up. So I just needed to make a bunch of these. I ended up only making three of each design. I have pride flags and then I also have just like regular cute colors. So I made three of all my existing colorways. This is gonna be kind of a chill time. Also, if it looks like I got hit by a truck for the majority of this video, that's because I did. It was in a car accident that it was like more serious than a fender bender, but like I didn't break anything. Nobody got more hurt than I did. But I'm telling you this because you're gonna see me like wearing a neck pillow because I got whiplash and it hurts to like move my neck very hard and sometimes I just need to give it a break. And I didn't realize this when I was filming, but in the first part you will see like kind of a seatbelt bruise. So if that like, if bruises like aren't your deal, I'm pretty sure it's only in the first few clips that you can see that bruise, but uh, just giving you a fair warning, I guess. And also explaining why I look like a mess. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the video. Second directing gig and first original story. Its success allowed him, along with Suzuki and Takahata, to open Studio Ghibli the following year. And its messaging made Miyazaki something that the film's plot is only covered in the first two volumes, its neatly tied up ending was scrapped, and a rusted project even. The late 70s series about a kid navigating the landscape. Oh, and there are giant in the midst of this existential threat. Human factions are still waging war against a valley. It's alive in the valley, and she has to find a way to really communicate with the insects. Using insects stress Miyazaki's message against anthropomorphism, i.e. giving human treatment. He said because most people dislike bugs, they were the prey, though I guess enormous bugs. Which makes sense when big insects are always that bad. Even Nausicaa's original English dub in 1986 cut 20 minutes of runtime, and for Nausicaa, the own aren't villains, just fellow creatures trying to live. And even the most recent Disney dub of the uncut was far greater than ourselves. his way of thinking about Japan and its nature. As anime scholar and author of the Miyazaki world to me, that said, it has a really pleasant, soothing atmosphere, largely devoid of the stresses of modern life. It's often cited as taking place in the 50s, especially considering the doodles in Kanata's notebook, which resemble Shigeru Sugita's manga, can't be settled in one film. If Ponyo accomplishes anything, it definitely adds to the recurring apocalyptic visions of environmental disaster in Miyazaki's work. The floodwaters destroy towns, the Despite humans' efforts to improve things for themselves, nature contains elements flatly opposed to our efforts. With that, I'll quickly discuss Lafayette Castle in the his original home, which Miyazaki named after Jonathan Swift's flying island in the Builder's Travels. She's helped by her new daughter simply through her back. Lady Eboshi represents the larger concept of modernity, and by extension the idea that modernity and tech advancement isn't inherently evil. It's just a means of humans trying to make life better for themselves that can sometimes get out of hand. And over and over again in the recurrent sentiment, we must continue to live. A kind of optimistic nihilism. Rather than giving up, letting go, and allowing the misery and apathy to win out, we must remember the resilience of human beings throughout all the hard times in history. Know that an imperfect ending is all we may get, but the fact that we got the story at all is also a gift. In his proposal for Princess Mononoke, he wrote, The battle between rampaging dwarfs gods and humanity cannot end well. There can be no happy ending. Yet even amid the hatred and slaughter, there are things worthy of life. It is possible for wonderful encounters to occur and for beautiful things to exist. I would depict hatred, but only to show that there's something more valuable. I would depict a curse to show the joy of liberation from it. I would depict the boy's understanding of the girl and the process by which the girl opens her heart to the boy. In the end, the girl will likely say to the boy, I love you, Ashitaka, but I cannot forgive humanity. Smiling, the boy will probably say, that's all right, let's live together in peace. These past few months were very necessary for me to grow as an individual and take a breather. There's so many things that took time, like...
how to take care of it, or maybe they never had a silk screen shirt before. So I put this in the alien that you would put Christmas ornaments on, because it looks like you. So don't forget to get this all together. It's cool no matter what you don't do. I just got out of the shower and also I am breaking out like crazy. I don't know if it was <laughs> from the stress of this week, but this is what I look like right now. Um, it has been a week and a day uh, since the accident. I am able to like move a lot more by myself and also my bruising is like pretty much gone. But I made the mistake of driving yesterday and it was not a good time. So <laughs> I'm trying to listen to my body and not do as much as I plan to do this week. But I'm coming on here because we also went to Goodwill yesterday because we hadn't left the house in a week and we needed to like run some errands, go to the post office and everything. So we went to Goodwill and we spent, I, oh, sorry, we spent like three hours there, which was very therapeutic. And we both spent a lot of money. I got a lot of clothes for fall and like a lot of knickknacks and stuff. Um, I actually got this bra there. This is one of my favorite colors, this periwinkle. I think I'm going to showcase most of the... <laughs> I forget how limited my range of movement is and I can't lean over that far. But I think I'm going to do a, like a fall wardrobe video where I will show all of the clothes that I got from Goodwill. But for now I want to show you all the knickknacks and then I will get back to crocheting. We really don't have a lot of Halloween decorations. Picked out this scarecrow, this cute like uh, vintage-ish stuffed pumpkin, and then this wood cutout. I really like like the, I don't know, I like vintage holiday decorations a lot. So Goodwill is usually the best place to find them. And then if you've ever seen my office, you've probably noticed these pots or bowls. I don't know what it is. I can't get enough of like these white bowls with the fruits and flowers on the side. And I usually don't see any with handles or a lid. So I got this. I almost forgot the last Halloween decoration. So I also got this little vintage spooky thing. On the topic of vintage decorations, I also got just these little watermelons. I don't know where they're gonna go. I've also been wanting more desk organization and I saw this. Oh wait, let me show you my vision here. I actually haven't brought this in here yet to see if it'll actually work, but I found this like pencil organizer thing that reminded me of this three tier shelf that I had and I thought it would be cute. Ooh, it looks like it'll fit perfectly. To attach it there and use it for like pens and crochet hooks and scissors and stuff like that. So I think that'll actually work. I'll have to hook that up. And then let's see if this got tangled again, probably. It is a three-tiered like fruit basket. It looks it looks fine um, if I untangle it. <laughs> but it's supposed to like hang in your kitchen and you put like uh, bananas and apples and stuff on there. But I want to start doing plushies. So I thought it would be good to display at my booths. Um, to put like small plushies in the top and kind of hang it in front of the table so customers can like have a cool way to look at plushies and, they don't, and it, it won't take up space on my table since I could hang this from something. Allegedly, I still have to figure that part out. Whew. I did bruise my ribs and I have like a bunch of chest bruises and things. And you know, I've just been like sitting down all week. So I am out of breath and I can't talk very much, which is why I didn't want to have very many talking parts in this video. But I had to show you the Goodwill stuff. And last but not least, we have been using these, like, these dollar Target plates for a while now. And this is clean. This is just, like, all the damage that's on the plate. But we found...
we found an entire set of, at least I think it's a complete set, of these gorgeous, gorgeous plates. I fell in love with it. We have the mugs too, and there's like some bowls. I saw the whole set, like each piece was 50 cents. And I showed my boyfriend and I was like, okay, like, this is my dream dish set. I want to own these someday. And then I kind of just walked away and he was like, why don't you just get them right now? Because they're right here. <laughs> and I kind of had a moment of, oh shit, you're right. They're literally right here. Why can't I just buy them right now? All right, I gotta catch my breath. A theme in my life lately is uh, how much of a passive role I'm taking in my life. And I want to take a more active <laughs> role. So I feel like... Uh, that was an interaction that pretty much summed that up. Okay, even though I'm out of breath, I am gonna talk again a little bit. I'm working on these blue guys right now. But I am watching this video. <laughs> the screen looks really bad on my camera. But it's um, The Science of Autism and Gender Dysphoria. Um, I've never seen this channel before, but it's an interesting video. I don't think I've ever mentioned this on the channel. And uh, I still don't know if I'm gonna put this part in the video. So if you are seeing this part, I mean, obviously I decided to put it in. But I am autistic. If you couldn't tell already. Um, I will do a bigger like story time video on this at some point, but I just wanted to do a quick thing because something funny just happened. They were talking about like the definition of autism and everything and like they kept mentioning like lack of empathy. I'm always bothered when people talk about lack of empathy with autism because I know it's true, but I like to think of myself as someone with a lot of empathy. They mentioned like empathy quizzes and like empathy studies and stuff. So, naturally, I googled, like, some empathy quizzes, and the top, like, highest rated results, like, this is uh, from Berkeley, and I took the test, and I got, like, 77 out of 110, and it measures for two different kinds of empathy, and I was like, okay, that's pretty interesting. A little lower than I thought I would score, but that's fine. And then I took the EQ, the empathy quotient, um, the EQ and the AQ, so the autism quotient, are as far as I know, pretty highly regarded <laughs> quizzes. And I took it and as I was answering the questions, I was like, oh man, like, I'm kind of like a great person, you know? Like, <laughs> like I'm gonna score really high on this. When I tell you, hold on, let me show you my score. My jaw dropped to the floor. I scored it 29 out of a possible 180 scores. Scores of 30 or less indicate lack of empathy. Common in people with autism. I'm gonna be doing a lot of soul searching. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna unpack all of the thoughts that went through my head because this is mostly a crochet vlog. But if you do want more content centered around like my brain, mental health experiences and stuff, I would be more than happy to make those. I just don't know if that's what the audience on this channel wants, so. Let me know in the comments if that's what you want. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep crocheting. When you have a moment of physics, and you've got this, then batteries are useful, but they're limited, you know? And the only, the, the only thing that would happen is just try and use them for everything, right? So for example, having the camera in the you should have a Yeah, it's just not like Minecraft. Yeah. Like, you're just like, oh, right? like, oh cool, an awesome mushroom, and you have some, you're like, this
it's got, it's got certain difficulties and all that kind of stuff. I don't know where I'm going, but I have to go out. Like, we're from Malia, and the reaction shit. It's a normal evolution. It's a beneficial evolutionary trait in the past. Um, and that's very lovely. You find, you have a theory as to why I gave you my own. It's brilliant for having ADHD. And you become out of the world where it's really difficult to.
Heck, I think it's officially been like three weeks since the accident. Um, <laughs> I went back to work last weekend. Miles? Miles? Don't do it. Want some rainbows? Mmm, tasty. Anyway, I went back to work and um, it was hard. My neck still hurts pretty bad, but otherwise everything is good. I can like breathe comfortably now, <laughs> which is great. Buddy. I finished weaving in all the ends of the rainbows. I counted last night and I think I have 40 total. And it took me like way longer than I would have liked, but I did it. You know, I was, I have an excuse this time. Bye. I also experimented and made a big guy, regular guy for scale, as kind of like a standalone, not plush, but um, fidget thing with a bigger marble. And I do like the size, but this yarn, like that regular like plush yarn that everyone uses, it kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, it like sticks to the marble and makes it really hard to push it. It's not like smooth like the keychains are. Hey! Peace offering. Oh, sweet boy. Anyway, so the only thing I have left to do is put the keychains onto the keychains. And then everything will be ready to either put in my stock or drop off at the at my wholesale locations. And also, you may have noticed, but I put makeup on for the first time in a month. And I put like real clothes on. I'm going to a museum. I'm gonna go eat some macaroni and then do some trivia with some friends and I'm very excited. Things are going well, I think. And I have some very exciting things planned, but I've already been talking for too long. So hopefully next up is just me finishing the keychains. One more fit check though. Because one, I added another necklace because I can't stop. And two, I forgot the purse. It doesn't really match with these colors, but it's the best I got. And so I'm going to an art museum. I had to add my little guy. Who am I without a little guy on me? I've been collecting these since I was little and I found this at the last art museum I went to. And I love him. He's my little guy. How many times did I just say little guy? Okay, anyway. Peace out. As you know, I'm just in love with her anyways. Shop kind of thing with fences. Oh, that's gonna look really cool. This way. Yeah, that little fenced in. Ooh, that's kind of, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, so this is all gonna be custom path. And then we're gonna have a fence in here. Boom, going all the way around. And um, Vic is sick. Thank you. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Hi, Raisin Bran, how you doing? Funfetti! Hi, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for hanging out. A ciao! How you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for being here. Load it in all sexy and we'll make a little plant shop. What do you guys think about that? We're gonna do plants with a little garden area, darling. Do your thing. Live your life. I can't run or speed run conversations. Ooh, um, because I hate when I can't speed through the conversations. It drives me nuts. Actually, I'm sorry about that. I'm living that life too. My pro controller, my Melanie. Hello. <laughs> I like fence as an object, like as an institution. She's beautiful. Fuck. Can we be consistent here? use the same color fence 
Okay, I'm gonna clear everything out of my. Video from last year. I have one Oh, hello there. You've reached the end of the video. I have restocked all my babies, replaced all of the ones I already made with this new Stronger Loop. Everything looks good, everything looks great. I have already dropped off some of these to my wholesale location. So it looks like I didn't make any, but I ended up making like 40, 39 or 40, no 39 because I made three of, of each thing. It took way longer than I thought because I was in pain. I was suffering. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed chilling with me. I do have some fun Halloween content coming up. If you'd like to stick around for that and you're not already subscribed, consider, consider. If you have a favorite rainbow color that you saw today, throw it in the comments. I hope you all are doing well. Drive safe. This is an order. Drive safe. Uh, I think that's all. I'll see you next time.